Good morning to you. Good morning, Tuesday, the 15th of August 2023. In France, a public holiday. The reason that it's a public holiday in France is because some traditions just will not go away. And the tradition of the 15th of August is that it is the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Um, some of you know exactly what I'm talking about, and some of you will say, no, what's, what, what's the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary? Well, it's a doctrine that is not universally accepted, but it's widely accepted that the Blessed Virgin was bodily taken up into heaven. You can argue about that. Um, likely, possible, reasonable. Argue about it all you will, but that is what the day is supposed to celebrate. So, I've got one of me better shirts on, actually got all the right buttons on it as well, how about that? That's the first for a while, and I shall be going to pick up a passenger, and then we shall be going to a service. And after the service, we shall be going through a town where there will be a brocante. Being a public holiday, it means it's a day that a lot of towns and villages will hold their assorted different styles of um, festivals and fates and, and, and what have you. And it just so happens that today, on the road back from church in the town of Polney, there will be a brocante. So I'll take the camera with me. Never know, we might see something interesting. Well, we've been to church and we've done all the good things, you know, standing up, sitting down, kneeling and praying and all that sort of thing. So now we're going to do something a little bit worldly. We're going to walk around the brocante. Now, I have brought Nicole with me, she's racing ahead as people with mobility problems who are much older than us seem to manage to do at such events and no doubt she will be bumping into friends that she hasn't seen for some time. So we'll turn you off for a while and have a, have a gander and see what treasures we find. Well, I bought a spade. Very useful, especially as since yesterday I managed to break a spade. How you break a spade, I really don't know, but I, I, I did. So picking one up for pennies makes a lot of sense. Anyone want a sewing machine or a picture of someone's great-grandfather? Forge tools, very useful if you've got a forge.
And some things you see that you think, I saw that the other week. Well, of course, because many of these traders are exactly that. You know, they're, they're people who, through the summer, they're spending every occasion they can selling stuff at Brocantes. Yes, you see things that I know that you lot will all be screaming at me, buy it. Yeah, mm, I'm very good and very self-disciplined and I'm not going to, you know, that would be great fun, wouldn't it, a mobilette, but I ain't got time for it. So today will pass. You know, I'm confident that when I need another project, one will turn up. But you know, do I want a Bernard Motors water pump? Now Bernard Motors or Motor Bernard. You know, isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful engine? But I really can live without it. I can, honest. And I know you all want to know what I bought. Well, I bought a spade. That was the princely sum of three euro. But... As I say, yesterday I managed to break a spade and the cheapest you can buy a spade in the shops is 11 euro and they're not as well made as this one. This is, this is a proper hard working sort of spade. So I'm pleased with that. And for one euro I bought a bottle of oil. But it's special oil for guns. Now, <laughs> yeah, I haven't got a gun, but it's a good bottle of oil. And yeah, that was handy. And I bought something else, which for now is going to have to remain a secret. I'll show you later, but in the next video.